Welcome to What Wendy Wears, and my name is Wendy. I'm super excited about today's episode because today is my birthday. One of the things I love is Halloween because it falls on my birthday month, and I absolutely love to get dressed up for Halloween. Um, every year, I pick out a couple uh, costumes, and I try to dress them up in the clothing that I already have in my closet. Yes, there are some times where I do have to purchase some things on the outside, whether it's through Amazon or a party store, Target, wherever, in order for me to finish up my costume, but the majority of the clothing is from clothing that I already have at home. And that's one thing about Halloween that I love is that you could transform a lot of the different characters out there by clothing that you already have in your closet. A lot of the time, the one that thing that makes the costume is the makeup. So honestly, I am not an expert when it comes to makeup, and I really will head out to the 99 cent store, buy some of the costume makeup that they have there, and that's how I transform the characters that you're gonna see here today. So I'm super excited. I have uh, six different costumes that you are going to see. And let me know which one of the costumes you like best. And would you consider this as an idea for you when it comes to a Halloween party or a Halloween event? Or maybe it's just trick-or-treating with the kids. You know, some parents like to get dressed up. I know I like to get dressed up for the Halloween. But, you know, hey, what about you? Even if it's just handing out candy, do you like to get dressed up? Let me know in the comments below. So um, we're gonna go over the very first outfit and how I put it together, and then you'll be able to see the image on how that costume looked on a plus size body like me. I am a size 16, 18, um, and I'm about five foot five. So these outfits, you know, I try to make sure that they fit my body based on the clothing that I have, not some item that you could pick up at like one of the Halloween stores where it's a uh, one size fits all or most because hey we're not most people as you know so let's go ahead and get started with that first outfit so the first costume i decided to go with was rosie the river i think that this is probably one of the easiest costumes to put together Honestly, the only thing I needed to buy was a red bandana. Everything else I had at home. And some of you might already have a bandana at home or some sort of red headband. Now for Rosie to the Riveter, uh, I needed to have like an all jean outfit. If you have a blue jean jumpsuit, great. Um, I do have blue jean overalls and I also have blue jeans and I also have a blue jean or a jean top. So I paired it with my pair of Eddie Bauer pants and I also placed it with this jean top. Now these, a lot of people already have them in their closet so you don't have to go out searching for these items. The only thing is, is that you may or may not have a bandana. One thing I did have in my closet or in my items was also a pair of red socks and then I needed a pair of boots. And I have a variety of different Doc Martin boots. So I paired it with a pair of Doc Martens, black ones. And I think I did a pretty good job with that costume. Now, uh, this is pretty simple. Uh, this is probably one of the easiest ones. The only thing when it comes to the makeup is that they had a really red toned lipstick back in those times. So I think that if you have a great hair or gray lipstick then um, that will go with that outfit and then just tying your bandana on your head with minimal makeup on your face I think it would look fabulous so this is probably one of the simplest costumes that we have so the second costume that I decided to go with was Mia Wallace from Pulp Fiction I really think this is a super easy costume there was only a couple things that I had to purchase one of them was a black wig. Now this black wig was actually a little longer. So Mia Wallace has a, she has a bob. So because she has a bob, I had to make sure that I cut the wig um, in order for it to look similar to her. Now the portion of the film that I picked was not the part where she was dancing, is actually the part where she had uh, to be taken uh, to the friend's house 
uh, because she took uh, something that she wasn't supposed to and they had to revive her. So I ended up getting this black wig and then I ended up using just a basic button up white top that fits me loose. Uh, maybe your spouse or your partner has a button up that's a little larger than the ones you have in your closet. Maybe that will work and a pair of black slacks. Now, in addition to that, I also did go to the 99 cent store and I bought some fake blood. And with that fake blood, I just kind of put it on my nose a little bit. And then I also put a little bit on my chest. And that's really all I did to make this costume. Super simple, she was even barefoot. I mean, you could use uh, black flats if you have that because in part of the show, she was wearing flats and they were just a pair of black, um, like ball ballerina type style shoes. So super simple, very easy to put together. Again, I used a black wig. I ended up buying some fake blood and then I paired it together with a pair of black slacks and also a white button top. Um, easy peasy, super easy to put together. And then that gives you your costume. Now this next costume is a little bit more girly. I decided to go with like an evil clown outfit. Now with this one, I paired it with a pair of tights. I also have a black skirt that I paired it with. And then on top of that, I have a black, simple black bodysuit that I also use. Now to add some color and dimension to the outfit, one of the things I bought from Amazon is this black and white corset. Um, now this is a costume style corset and I believe it went up to like 6X or something and I really had to pay attention to the sizing label. So I think I ended up getting a size 4X or a 5X based on their uh, readings when it came down to the suit. It has like ribbon on the back so you can loosen it up and then it also has boning within the corset and then I also paired it with this little hat. Now I was kind of on the fence regarding putting this little hat on with the costume because um, everything else was black and white and this one has purple with the feather but um, let me know what you guys think. I'll put the image with and without it Tell me if you like it with the hat or it really doesn't make a difference. Now, um, in addition, um, I use basic um, costume makeup for the face of the clown. I went on Pinterest, I looked at some ideas there and I try to copy some of them. Like I mentioned, I am not an expert when it comes to makeup. So I know that if I could do it, you can definitely do it. And then on top of that, I decided to uh, put two uh, buns in my hair to kind of give it that um, young look when it came down to that costume. I really, really liked the way this came together. And especially when I smiled there, I think that this makes a great evil clown. And um, you know, you could make it as sexy as you want. Mine was kind of conservative because my skirt and the tights were pretty dark and it's not a very short skirt. So I think that it's pretty conservative and I think it would be great for even a family party. But you have to remember if you have kids, when you have that type of clown, it may scare them a bit. But I absolutely love scary outfits. So the next costume I decided to go with was Jessica Rabbit. Now, Jessica Rabbit is iconic sex figure when it comes to cartoons. And I love the red dress with the red lipstick and how she, her hair is covering one of her eyes and the other eye is just popping. So I have this red sequence dress. I know that a lot of people may say, who has that in their closet? And I, well, guess what? I do. <laughs> and if you have a red dress similar to this, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be this exact dress. But maybe you have um, a red, um, whether it's sequins or a satin dress or sateen, um, I think it would look great. Um, Jessica Rabbit's dress is sleeveless. And this one here is sleeveless, but it's also um, doesn't have any shoulders. So it's completely, you know, uh, free of showing your shoulders, but this one does not. However, this one has that low cut where you do see a little bit of cleavage in that dress. 
So that's one thing. And then it has that high slit on the leg, which is beautiful when it comes to the dress. Now the dress was the one piece that I had along with a pair of cream colored shoes. I don't have the white shoes like Jessica Rabbit did. So I went with the colored cream. Now, um, what I did buy were a couple things from Amazon. I bought a red wig. I think the red wig cost me like $13.99. Beautiful wig, as you can see in the video. Um, super easy, put that sucker on. And I love the fact that it covered one eye because it had like the side swept bangs. Beautiful. Then I ended up going to the 99 cent store and I ended up buying this um, kind of jewelry for a 1920s dress up kit. So I ended up buying this from the 99 cent store because uh, Jessica Rabbit um, smoked. So this was kind of like her little cigarette holder. And then I ended up putting the beads on her as her jewelry. And I was not able to find um, purple gloves and I ended up buying red ones. I know Amazon has them, um, but I ended up buying these, I believe at Walmart and they were like $5 or $4. I probably could have ordered them for the same price at um, Amazon. I'll, I'll go ahead and link something below similar to this. And if they were purple, they'd be great, but I only had red or they only had red there. So I ended up getting the red gloves and I still think it went well. I ended up doing the makeup. I try to do it as best as possible like Jessica Rabbit. I think I did a pretty good job when it comes to the makeup. Um, but overall, this was a pretty simple outfit. I think when it came down to the articles of clothing in addition to the dress, I must have paid under $20. So that was a great thing because I did have that red dress available. So another costume that I went with was a witch costume. You know, witches are very common when it comes to Halloween, but you always see them with a big old nose and um, they don't look very put together. Unless you're getting one of those little sexy uh, witch costumes, then that's great. But I figured, you know what? I have some items in my closet. Why don't I use those and then just accessorize with things I may not have. So I ended up using this black dress. Um, this black dress is a polka dot dress, but um, based on the length and how it fits, I think that it would look great with uh, as a witch costume. So I ended up starting with this. So this was like the base of the outfit. Then from there, I ended up going to the 99 cent store Similar to the, um, to the hat that I put with the clown outfit, I ended up seeing this little witch, out, uh, witch hat. So it's not one of those really big ones, so I don't have to worry about it um, all day and making sure that it doesn't fall and get lost. This here is like a little headband to go on my head. Um, and I got this at the 99 cent store. I know they sell these on Amazon, so I'll go ahead and link that below. And then last but not least, the one thing that I think was very important to the look of this costume was also the corset. This one I bought in a 5X and I bought this from Amazon and it's purple and black. And I ended up buying this um, because I think that it makes the witch outfit look so much better with the corset on and it makes you look very girly feminine and it also gives you the curves that you would probably want in a basic witch outfit. Now, it doesn't mean that I have to wear the corset because the black dress would be sufficient, but even if I had like a black mini dress, I could also put this there or put the corset on and it just dresses that, uh, that outfit a little more. Again, the makeup does wonders. I ended up painting the green face, making sure I had the black eyes and uh, just dressing up the makeup. Um, this uh, witch outfit, I tried to kind of clean up the eyes so it didn't look so dark around it. So I kind of went with that look so it looks a lot cleaner. But I still wanted the green face similar to the witch from Wicked but without the big pointy nose. But overall, this was a very great outfit and I absolutely loved, loved, loved how it turned out. So this last outfit by far is probably my favorite. So I ended up doing Beetlejuice. So things that I have out of my closet. I have a pair of slacks, which I put on. I know they're not black and white, but just a pair of regular black slacks. 
And then I ended up using um, a black cotton cami underneath as well. And then I put on, again, you saw this with my clown outfit, but I put on this corset. So this was kind of like a twofer because I have my clown outfit and my Beetlejuice outfit that I used the corset. But to make it look more like Beetlejuice, I ended up also buying this striped top or, or, or blazer from Amazon. And the blazer I think was like $25. So this is probably the priciest item out of um, all of the costumes, which was this blazer. Honestly, I don't think I needed the corset because the corset was $19.99. This was $25. If you put those two together, it's about $45 together. Then I had the um, makeup for the face. Honestly, the makeup was uh, not very expensive because again, I went to the 99, 99 cent store, bought the costume makeup, and that's where I purchased it. Now, another thing that I bought online was this green hairspray. Now, this hairspray I ended up using to, to give me the green hair, similar to Beetlejuice, and I bought three cans. I only really used one for my hair, and my hair is about mid-length, so it's not super short, but it's not super long. And one can was enough for my hair. So um, I am going to reuse this outfit later on this month. So I'm glad that I bought some extra cans. I went ahead and linked them below as well. But these make perfect uh, items for uh, coloring your hair. Absolutely loved it. So with the this, the, the hair color, the blazer, the, um, the corset, and the face paint, I probably spent about $50 extra so this was probably the priciest out of all of them but i honestly think that this one actually turned out the best this one jessica rabbit and the clown were absolutely my favorites because i i love doing the makeup um, and going all out when it comes to these costumes so tell me below uh which one of these costumes you like the best so there you have it folks i hope you like this video and i hope you will tell me which one of the costumes you like the best if you would even consider any of these costumes as your own when it comes to Halloween, or tell me what what or how you put your costumes together when it comes for it comes to Halloween. I want to say thank you to each and one of you for watching this video. This really means a lot to me. Thank you for celebrating my birthday with me. I placed the video here that you might like. I also place my image here so you can subscribe to my channel to help the struggle. Thank you so much, everybody. Stay stylish, my friends.